Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on YouTube. This series is talking about all things relationships because I feel like that is the key to life. So for this video, I want to talk about trauma bonds and toxic relationships. Because if you've watched my video before where I talked about my experience in abuse, I can't speak. If you've watched my video talking about my experience in an abusive relationship then you will realize that I know all about trauma bonds and toxic situations so you can definitely check out that video if you want to know more about my experience but for this video we're going to talk about why we even get drawn to people based in a trauma bond based in toxicity is that how you say the word toxicity based in negative life sucking soul sucking kind of energy and yet we tend to feel drawn towards it and go towards it even though it doesn't feel amazing so there is a reason why we do this and it's called trauma bonding when you share either the similar trauma or whether you share like a, a bond or like a connection or a friendship over the trauma experiences that you've been through so maybe you can relate to each other in things that you've been through and you form like a connection or a friendship where you're able to confide in each other and talk to each other about those things and the thing is though is that neither of you are healing you're not working on it you're just bonding over the trauma so you're staying stuck in that traumatic like emotion in your body and you're not actually healing it and then you're relating with somebody else who is also stuck in their trauma and then it just kind of blows up in your face because now like both of you are living in like this horrible space like mentally and emotionally because you're still holding on to a lot of trauma from your own experiences and then when you come together with somebody else that's doing the same thing like I mean it's bound to go horribly wrong because neither of you are in the right frame of mind, neither of you know how to process emotions properly or anything like that so you're just gonna cling to each other. It could become very codependent or very argumentative, like it could become very, ugh, you know, just, I don't know, I feel like it can be very off and on, like very codependent where you're like so in love with each other to the point where it's so attached and stuck together and then it could also be where you like blow up at each other and it can become very like aggressive and arguing a lot and then you end up being like against each other you know so there could be a lot of push and pull a lot of being all loved up and all happy and they're being so heartbroken and so angry at each other and then you make up and you're so loving again and then all of a sudden you're like falling out again like it can be just so volatile and off and on and just ugh <laughs> it's the only way I can think to describe it because I have been in that situation myself and it is not fun and it does feel like you're drained 24 7 like the life is just being sucked out of you you know but you still find yourself clinging to that person because you feel like you need them because they get you they get your trauma they get your emotions like it's somebody that you can relate to and this is where we fall down these toxic like paths or spirals because we attach to these people feeling like they're going to be able to help us like they're the only person that can save us or they can they get it they understand they relate to us like they've been through something too you know and then you end up in this toxic situation where you're like you feel like you literally can't live without them you know and I mean this is called trauma bonding for a reason you're literally bonding over trauma like if that doesn't tell you that it's not positive then I don't know what else will, you know? And obviously in healthy relationships, you will bond over trauma. Like you will talk about your past and things that you've been through and you may be able to relate to some level. Like that's not where it's negative. The negative is where you stay stuck there. You know, like you're not doing anything to move it. You're not, you're literally living in that trauma together rather than bettering each other, bouncing off of each other, being able to work through any emotions that come up, you know, like that would be healthy. 
that if you're staying stuck there then you're just bonding over trauma and you're literally like wallowing in it you're living in it you're like bathing in it <laughs> and that is not fun and this is how we get a lot of toxic relationships and a lot of codependency so i think it's very very key for all of us to look at our relationships and see whether we're able to better each other like see when you are expressing how you feel are you put down are you are you like dismissed and made to feel like it doesn't matter or it's irrelevant or are you are you like do the, does the person listen to you do they give you solutions do they offer advice do they listen openly without judgment you know or do they do they like jump in with you and start telling you about their trauma and then you both end up miserable and depressed and stuck there? Or do you share the trauma but then you both come up with solutions and ways to move through it? You know, I think it's really, really key for us to look at our relationships and figure out well, what it is. Like, what is it? What is this connection? What is it about this connection that I love? What is it about this connection that makes me feel drawn to this person? You know? and just really analyze that because sometimes we're in trauma bonds and we don't actually realize it because it does in a way it feels good to have somebody to talk to about your trauma and the situations that you're in but if you talk about it and then you're constantly stuck there you're constantly feeling miserable because you're in it then it's not a healthy environment and it's not a beneficial it's not like a solution-based beneficial um, state of being, you know? And we can't put that on the other person either. This is about ourselves. This is about ourselves and how we process our trauma. Because yeah, you can bond with somebody else over it, but at the end of the day, only you can heal your own. You are responsible for your own healing, your own trauma, your own emotions, your own thoughts, your own environment, your own life completely your own body like we are responsible for ourselves and we need to stop putting that responsibility on other people because it is not their job to heal you it is not their job to figure out how you can stop being depressed how you can stop feeling sad how you can stop feeling whatever it is that you're feeling like that's not their job but yes you should be able to talk to people and have them listen without judgment, that definitely should be there, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna be able to solve it all for you, you know, because that's your job. Even if they gave you the solution, the thing that you need to do, you're the one that still has to do it, you know? So, I don't know. <laughs> we just need to really like analyze our own state of being, our own trauma and our own connections and see which ones are actually benefiting us and which ones are pulling us down and keeping us stuck, you know, it's really, really key and really important. But I wanna also say that I'm not judging anyone that's stuck there or anyone that's going through any kind of trauma or any kind of emotion or any kind of like depression or anything like that. Like this is not a judgmental of like, you need to fix it yourself or anything like that because I've been there myself and I know how hard it is and I know how easy it is to get stuck there. So this is not a judgment, but this is just letting you know that we have to take accountability like only we can save ourselves nobody's gonna come and save you you know not a man in the sky not a family member not a friend not anyone as brutal as that sounds like we have the power to save ourselves because that's how incredibly powerful we actually are so we don't need anybody else to save us and we can have all of this support around us completely but they still can't do it for you you have to do it for yourself so we need to like analyze all of our relationships and all of our situations and figure out like why do I want to be with this person? What is it about them that I love, you know? And how do I deal with my trauma? How do I deal with my emotions? What happens when thoughts come up? Do I overthink? Like literally analyzing yourself so that you can look at which areas need to be developed and improved upon, you know? And don't get me wrong, like being stuck in trauma bonds is so difficult to get out of and if you do decide to watch my video on domestic violence and domestic abuse and all of that stuff that I went through like it took me 
a quite a long time to leave and so many attempts of going back and forth before I finally left. So I know how difficult it is to actually get out of that pattern because it becomes a habit leaving and going back like that toxic back and forth really does suck you in and it becomes almost like a comfort zone so I know that it's like not an easy thing to leave but at the same time like I had to save myself nobody else could do it for me no matter how many times they told me I needed to leave I was the one that had to leave for myself you know so you have to just step into your power now because you are powerful and you can create change in your life and create the life that you want but you have to know that you deserve it that you are worthy of it and that you have the power to create it because you do so I hope this video was helpful and definitely check out my full YouTube channel for all other videos because I do go into way more on these topics and on like our emotions and things but I'm also going to keep making more so I will be talking about this again don't you worry and yes I really appreciate you watching thank you so so much and you can check out the link in the description box because I have my website which has my merch and my music and everything on it I also have my phone number down below as well because I do give out my phone number and I'm also now sending daily motivational spiritual inspirational text messages and whatsapps so you can check out my number in in uh, in the description box below and yeah is that everything I think that's everything so yes thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah i think you might i'm the thing you like me my range all white oh yeah i think you might i'm the thing you like me my range all white